And then not too far from the moving bookcase we saw. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with some more Danganronpa V3. In the last episode we did, Suichi was feeling kind of off. He kept trying to bring something up, but he couldn't quite bring it up. And today he's told us to meet us at the library. In yesterday's video, the killing game has officially begun. People are now weary about each other, and right now tension is as high as it's been. I guarantee you, or at least I hope, somebody will end up dying today. I think... It might happen, but I'm not 100% sure. We'll just have to wait and find out. Suichi did tell us to go meet him in the library. Let me go talk to Gonta right quick, though. What's up with Gonta? Hmm. What's the matter? What's the matter, Gonta? Searching for something? Bugs are. There are no bugs here, after all. I see. Uh, yeah, you did mention that before. Gonta. Gonta, trying to understand why. You're right. Uh, wait, what the hell? Why is Suichi here? Ah, that's right. Of course, the ultimate entomologist would notice that. But going to have no idea. But it's okay. Going to not give up, gentlemen. Not give up that easy. Allow Gonta. So going to go search even more. All right. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna try my best to play through today until a death happens. I don't feel like talking to this dude because to be honest, I feel like he's either gonna be the first one to die or the first one to kill. I feel like the first one to die is either going to be him or Angie. And the first to kill is either going to be him or that creepy-ass uh, anthropologist dude, the, the, the human dude. Uh, Nintendo Direct, today is a huge day by the way. Nintendo just did a Nintendo Direct, as well as there's a, uh, there is a PlayStation uh, state of play happening today. I'll be honest, the Nintendo Direct was pretty disappointing. At least in my eyes, the Nintendo Direct was pretty disappointing. There wasn't anything that I really What's cared wrong? about, except for Breath of the Wild too. Hey there, you two. Something wrong? Um, no, nothing's wrong. Hey, hey, Rintaro. You said there's someone behind all this, right? That Monokuma is just a puppet. That's true. I did say that, but you know what? It's just a hunch. How should I put this? I sure wouldn't complain if that's how it all turned out, though. Uh. And away he goes. All right, Suichi, I'm here in the library. What did you want to like? Like before, the empty library was filled with the scent of old, musty books. Uh, um... Okay, before I say anything else, I want you to promise me you'll keep this a secret. Yeah. Okay, got it. <clears throat> Suichi looked revealed and smiled, relieved and smiled. Like a great detective, he began to explain in exacting detail. Remember. This library has books scattered everywhere, even books lying on top of the bookcases. But take a look at this bookcase. It's the only one in the library with no books on top. Uh. Oh, that one, huh? You're right. Hmm. Also, you can see that the floor in front of the bookcase has noticeable markings. Mm -hmm. You're right. What is this? I'm... I noticed the markings the first time I came here with you. Oh my god! This music is freaking fire! This morning, I came back to investigate. That's when I found this. Oh my god! This soundtrack so far, I'm not gonna lie, this soundtrack might be the best soundtrack out of all the Danganronpa games. I think UDG had the best soundtrack, this might take it, bro. This soundtrack is fucking fire so far. I haven't heard a single song I didn't like. He then walked over to the bookcase, placed his hands between the gap. It sounds like a remix to D Distrust. Is that what it is? It sounds like it. Yep, a secret passageway. And it's got the Monokuma, um... Colors. It, it swings open. Look, there's a door behind it. Okay, Suichi. Okay, Suichi. I see you, bro. I see you. Good Hi. shit. So this is what you wanted to show me. Okay. That's why I wanted you to come here with me. There's something unique about this door. Take a closer look. Oh my god, this music is fire. 
pattern on the hidden door is black and white. We've seen that before. Just like Monokuma. Hey. Hey, do you think this door is connected to Monokuma somehow? That's... I think it might. But I don't know anything for sure. This door has a card reader lock. So I can't open it. Huh? You can't? Is that alright? No, these are not Kratos. But the very fact this door here is here makes me consider a certain possibility. There's a chance one of us here is cooperating with Monokuma. Yes, sir. Huh? Cooperating with Monokuma? Jeez. Oh, I am the ultimate psychic, so I don't want to say who I think it might be because I don't want to spoil you guys. Hey. It's only a hypothesis right now, but consider this. Why would there be a hidden door here? If it were solely for Monokuma's use, he wouldn't need to hide it. Exactly. He could just have the Monokubes or the uh, Mantises protect it and keep it in plain sight. Hmm. However, I can not I can think of one reason that the door would be hidden. Because if a student was controlling him, they needed to go in there for one of us to sneak in and use it without anyone else noticing. Um. Maybe, but... I can't believe someone in our group could be working with Monokuma. That's true. I can't believe it either. That's why, to confirm my suspicions, I decided to set a little trap on this card reader. I sprinkled some dust inside the card reader so that I could tell if it was used. Of course, I was careful to make sure that the dust wouldn't come loose accidentally. Also, and I don't think the person swiping their card would notice or care about a little dust. Um. So, if we see dust on the floor, it means one of us used this door, right? Well... Well, as I mentioned before, this is just a hypothesis. I have no evidence yet. But... But, if it is true, and even Monokuma is gone, this isn't going to end, Kaede. Uh, um... Anyway, that's what I had to tell you. Of course, I don't expect you to believe me. I'm... I just wanted to tell you. No matter what... Yeah. Yeah. Then... Well, let's head back. We shouldn't stay here too long. Okay, Suichi! Suichi on the case, bro! Let's go! I like him, bro! I like his character! He was saying that he wasn't really the, uh... He said he wasn't deserving of the ultimate detective, but bro, that was some... That was some detective stuff there, bro. You're giving Kyoko a run for her money. I'm lying. No, you're not. You'll never be Kyoko. This is my Kyoko of this game, bro. I like it. He's cool, bro. He's just a little too reserved. I don't like that he's not... Is that he's a little right? too... Kaede, please don't tell anyone what I showed you. I don't want to cause a panic. Trust me, she's not going to, bro. Yeah, I understand. <sighs> okay. Things are heating up. Having made our promise, we return to our own rooms. Ooh, nighttime? Oh, no, it's nighttime. Why is he not. Wait, what the hell? It was just... just one? The other Monokubes aren't here to bury Monokuma? <sighs> well, anyway, what Suichi told me earlier is really disturbing. One of us is cooperating with Monokuma. It's just so hard to believe. But Suichi trusts me. That's why he told me, right? Then maybe I should believe it. <sighs> what? Oh man, this game, bro. Why is it still Leatherface, bro? <clears throat> wow, we're already out of material! Like closing time at a sushi restaurant. When a series lasts for several seasons, eventually it'll run out of material. My memory has been awful lately. I wonder if it's because of how long the series has been going. Wait, what season are we on? Wait, what season are we on again? What material have we shown so far? Jeez, I don't remember. Maybe it's because they've released so many at this point. Oh well. Anyway, we need new material for the Monokuma Theater. Please, send your man man ma manuscripts along with a $1,000 application fee. If your entry is selected, you will receive a $100 gift card. What a generic, what a generous prize. Don't miss this opportunity. Send your applications today. It's already morning. I didn't sleep well last night. Yesterday's conversation is still in my mind. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Are they already gathered at the dining hall? Yeah. I guess I'll go for now. Ah, uh, we're way past morning by this point. Huh? Huh? Really? Didn't the morning announcement just play though? That's an old story. 
In prison, mornings were a lot earlier. We started at dawn. Huh? That early? In other words. In the day, we do our work and eat at the same time. At night, all we could do was sleep. Inside those prison walls, I lived a frighteningly, frighteningly disciplined life. I see. Um, I suppose that sort of life sounds healthy, I guess. Hm. Hm. Healthy body, healthy mind. Not cool. That's a bitter irony. <clears throat> That's right, Ryoma was a famous tennis player before he became a prisoner. Did I make him feel bad? Okay. <clears throat> but when someone coming to get us... 100%. Whoever does, I assume they will come today. There's no need to worry. Rantaro, <laughs> Rantaro knows, bro. Why the long face? No, oh, no. It's nothing, it's nothing. I figure no one would listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, right? That is... What do you mean? Never mind. Really, it's nothing. This is quite the happy ending. Hmm. But is this really how it ends? Without thinking, I had blurted that out loud, and now everyone was staring at me. Um... I mean, it just seems too easy. I don't think it'll end like this. Oh? I wonder, do you wish the killing game would have continued? That's not true. No, not at all. Fucking bitch! Then don't ruin our happy moment, you fucking shank. Skank. I said that wrong. Hmm. Hey, Kaede. I don't know what you're so worried about. <clears throat> but Monokuma is dead now. There's no way the killing game could continue, you know? <clears throat> And that's my cue to appear, Kuma! Huh? Uh, what? <laughs> yeah. Monokuma? You? He's still al he's still alive? It's my turn, yeah. No, no! Are you guys blind or something? Kuma! I ain't Monokuma, Kuma! After dying in a tragic car accident, I've been reborn as a yokai. Call me Jiba Kuma! Kuma! What is it? Jiba Kuma? Headmaster. From now on, I am the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, Kuma! You might feel uncomfortable at first, but eventually you'll get used to it. Huh? huh? Did I slip up? On your knees! No duh, you fucking fraud! Go find another car to run over to run you over! This time stay dead! Ha oh, jeez, it's such a low level cosplay! I can't bear to look! From an anthropological point of view. Uh, <laughs> I have an important question. Have you mistaken ghosts for yokai? Yokai are my mythological are mythological creatures first created back when humanity lived closely with nature. Back then they were the embodiment of unexplainable natural phenomena. Man, you guys are buzzkills! I was all set for adventure before you started yelling at me! This is why I hate teenagers. I'd have cash for days if I was dealing with the under 10 crowd. Sign. Jeez, it's loud in here. What's all the ruckus about? Oh. Wait, what? Our father, who we thought was dead, is actually alive? Hey. No way! Papakuma's too hip and modern to resort the death is cheap trope. The yokai did it. I bet the yokai did it. No, that's it. That bit's already over. What are you saying? Uh, there goes Mon. Wait, what the hell? It, it ain't over yet. Uh, it ain't over yet. I think we're still talking about spooky stuff. <laughs> you should have told us you were still alive. We've been making stew with your body. <laughs> Wait, if Papa Kuma's standing here, then whose body is in a stew pot? Ah, which Papa Kuma is the real one? No, they're both real. Mm -hmm. Huh? But father, you said there's only one of e one of each of us that were unique, like snowflakes. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, yeah. There's only one of each of you guys, but I've got loads of spares. <laughs> yeah. Why do you get to have spares and we don't? Be quiet. Of course you don't get to have spares. This school has a machine somewhere that can make a whole lot of pops. Just activate the machine and you can have as many spare pops as you... What? What the... F <laughs> oh, no! This is an emotion!
it on me. So y'all gotta take your licks. Bro, what is this, bro? Father, your love is smothering us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no more, no more. You know you like that, bro. Does this mean the killing game is going to continue? Continue? The killing game is gonna continue? What a pain. That's not the problem, Donkey Face! What do you mean? The killing game is gonna continue? <laughs> I mean, that sounds a lot less boring, so I guess it's okay. You gotta be kidding me! No, it's definitely not okay! Is that right? So that's how it's gonna be if we want to end this. <clears throat> I see. We have to take down Monokuma and the person behind him. I predicted there would be a spare, but I did not expect it to be built within the academy. Either way, I assumed this would happen. The de this development was not surprising. And another thing. Is that so? Then did you also assume this next exciting development? Is it gonna be another motive, bro? What the hell? Motive. Someone's dying tonight. An additional motive? A time he really wants us to kill. A murder does not occur by night time. Two days from now, then every student participating in this killing game will die. Shit. Now you're fucked. Someone has to kill. Now you now you're fucked. Somebody has to kill. Somebody's got to kill, bro. Someone has to do it. So unless you want to end up as oh, pink man. smears, you might want to take this game seriously. Oh shit. I like that energy, Monokuma. <laughs> Let's go, bro. I'm, I'm ready, bro. I'm ready for the kill to happen. This is some serious... Time limit? What? What? Everyone will die? What is this? That's not fair. Jeez, why did you guys even come to this school if you're not going to do the killing game? Shut up! You're the one that forced us to come here. Um... Quick question, Father. What do you mean by countless Monokumas? I thought we were up once time ran out. Let's do this! Damn right! Let the mantises do their thing this time! No, no. I'd rather not go through that again. I'd feel bad if you guys tired yourselves out. Yeah, but... Shit, it's heating up. But if we let the ex, if we let the mantises get popular, we uh, we could have a real cash cow on our hands, you know. The merchandising rights alone would make us richer than sultans. Ah, to be young hmm. again. Sultans, ah, huh? very tempting, but That's bad. I won't let you kids ruin your futures. You need to have your own kids and ruin their futures. Daddy, you love us so much. Oh, that's enough. Oh? Oh? You're still here. Of course, we never left. Why? Why are you doing this? How much suffering do you want to put us through? Hmm? I see. Well, if you're suffering, you all better hurry up and start the killing game. <laughs> then you can say bye-bye to the suffering. You, you? You bastard. To tell you the truth, don't you realize that working together is pointless? So just knock it off already. You know what you gotta do, don't you? I'm looking at Kaido crazy, bro. I feel like he he's either gonna die first or he's gonna kill first. You're surrounded by strangers, neither allies nor friends. No need to worry about them. Well. Plus, you got the first blood perk. That means the first kill is free. Oh, I doubt that. I feel like that's Cap. Killing game is gory, huh? I'm starting to feel a little queasy. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! And if they don't want to play, then they're dead anyway. And that's way more gore. I see. If it's gratuitous, gratuitous, or the top gore, I might be able to, to stomach that. Forget the killing game, then. It'll it'll be better if y'all just get to just die together. Shut up! Shut up and get the fuck back. <laughs> well. What you guys decide next is all up to you. Do whatever you want. You can all die working together, or 
free. You can survive on your own. It's your call. <laughs> these have been the best motives, bro, because these motives actually put our life at risk. Man, father is in the zone. I was getting irritated till he said that. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Let's toss back some honey to celebrate Papa Kuma's return. Yo, Monodim, go with some pure organic honey. Pour some honey on me in the name of killing. So long, farewell. Let's go, bro. Excellent motive, bro. Excellent motive, Monokuma. After Monokuma left, all that remained was utter fear and despair. Um. What are we gonna do? Nighttime in two days? We'll be here in an instant. Really? There's gotta be something we can do. I can't die. The world needs my genius. I don't like that. I don't wanna. I don't wanna die yet. Die. Everyone's going to die? Is dying the only chance? Choice. You don't need to worry. Yeah, you're getting clapped. You don't need to worry. Atua will welcome you with open arms. Mm -hmm. She's gonna welcome you with open arms. That's after we die, right? Jeez. We can't panic about something like this. I'll do something about it. Bro, he is literally prime suspect right now. He is not making this much easier for me to like him. Well then. Did you have a course of action in mind? Yeah, he's gonna kill you, bro. Shut up! I'm gonna start thinking of one right now. I don't understand. Figures. I didn't expect anything from you in the first place. No can forgive. We, we gotta fight back then. Yeah, if we strike them with some sneak attacks, we might have a chance at winning. No. What kind of Aikido moves even involve sneak attacks? Don't I wanna help everyone? Come, everyone. Going to use body. Keep everyone safe. Not cool. You're going to go against those machines to barehanded? Isn't that too reckless? <laughs> but we have to do it. If we don't, we'll die. But wait, we still have plenty of time to calculate all possible options. Uh, terrifying. We have no time to be indecisive. We are being urged to make a decision. To die fighting, or to die from the time limit. Stop it! Why do both choices involve us dying? How? No way! Are we really going to die? I don't want to die yet. Shit. I'm gonna survive! I'm gonna make it no matter what! Uh, no matter what? That's wrong! Wait, you can't do that though! Even if you make a mistake, you can't! Then you'll accept the blame? Huh? What? Because... Will you accept the blame if I die? I have people who will be sad if I die, you know. Um... Well... Me hee hee. Me hee I'm lying. No one will be sad if I die. But I don't know if the same can be said for everyone else. So that means... Anyway, I'm gonna take off now. Oh. He's not gonna kill. I don't think Kokichi's gonna kill. He's just gonna be like a fucking Nagito, I feel like. He's just gonna be annoying. Take off? Where are you going, Kokichi? Um... Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to my room and just think things over. Alone. He's not gonna kill. There, he's too obvious. He's not gonna kill. What's going on? Alone in your room? What do you mean by that? Are you inviting me to come kill you? Oh. M me? I... I... <laughs> not that I... Try to claim that part for myself. I'm way too classy to kill someone. <gasps> Talking to you idiots is exhausting. I'm gonna go to my room and rest. Got I it? like detention. Miyu, you better not do anything shady, okay? I'm worried. There's no need to worry, is there? No one is gonna kill anyone, right? Hmm. If someone is going to kill, they should just go for the robot. No way! That's even worse. Hmm. So everyone feels that killing is wrong. But why is that? Huh? What? This motherfucker's also prime suspect, bro. I got him and Kaido are prime suspects to the next two nights. Mysterious. Of course, I know it to be against the law, but laws are simply rules people decided upon. This is a space removed from those rules, therefore, we've no need to follow them. That's enough! Don't say stupid shit like that. Even kids know killing is bad. It's common sense. However... Even if it is to survive. We are as guinea pigs. We are as guinea pigs upon a lab table. We cannot be picky about our means of survival. What? What? <laughs> I only wish to observe the beauty of humanity and witness the depths of its sins. So you've no need to fear me. 
This motherfucker is weird, bro. Oh, shit. Kyo. Males in the soft science are pretty soft themselves, so I don't think he'll do anything. Jeez. He's not wrong, though. If we want to stay alive, standing around grumbling is not going to change anything. Well? As things are, we're not all going to escape together. We're going to die together. Are you guys okay with that? No. But here's the thing, right? Stop it. Uh, hold on, everyone. We haven't decided our plan on our plan yet. I wouldn't kill, but I would just hope that someone else kills someone. I wouldn't be the one to kill though, because I I would rather. Because the thing is, if I would know that if I'm in this situation, if I kill someone, I'm getting caught regardless. Regardless, if you kill someone here, it's death. So I wouldn't kill anybody, and if because I'm dying anyway, basically. Oh, so I wouldn't kill. You can decide that on your own. Huh? Huh? You don't know. Your half-assed speeches won't work on us anymore. You know that, right? Then. So just come up with a plan for yourself. One by one, everybody is turning against me, bro. Wait, Maki, wait. Well then. I'm just gonna pray to Atua. All right, bro. Seems like. Yeah, I, can I just go and think by myself for a little? It's a shame I won't be able to hide all my special art commissions before I die. <sighs> or that special pillowcase I bought. What should I do? Damn. <laughs> but wait, you guys. That's wrong. You guys, you can't listen to Monokuma. <sighs> everyone, what wrong? Why everyone scatter? <clears throat> Fine then. All of you just do whatever you want. Mm. This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So, what else is part of his plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then... That's a shame. Can I even trust myself? Huh? Rantaro, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what's wrong, he says. How should I put Hey, this? I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term Ultimate Hunt ring a bell for anyone? Ultimate Hunt? Um... What is that? I've never heard of it. What's the matter? What about it? Never mind. Nothing. Forget it. Huh? Huh? Excuse me. What do you mean, Rantaro? No, no. It's nothing, really. I'm just a bit confused, is all. Hmm, actually. Everyone's a little anxious about not being able to remember how they got here, right? Well, in my case, not only am I dealing with that, I also can't remember my talent. I'm sorry. So, I guess I'm asking you to bear with me if I say things that don't make sense sometimes. What if he's faking the whole not knowing his memory thing? What if or his is ultimate? What if he's known from the very jump that we're in on this and that he has to kill? What if he's hiding his ultimate because it could reveal how he killed somebody? And he's using that as his plan, so he doesn't want to tell anybody his ultimate. Without looking back, Rantaro just waved his hand and left. In the end, I couldn't stop everyone from leaving the dining hall. Why won't anything go right? I just want to escape with everyone. So why is everything going wrong? You can't escape with everyone. We, we gotta pick and choose. I know the answer. It's Monokuma's fault. The one who's controlling him and playing this entire killing game, it's all their fault. Let's talk to Suichi first. Um. Hey, Suichi, what should we do right now? I'm... We need to move. Huh? Huh? Move? Suichi slowly approached me as if wary of his surroundings and said in a hushed voice, Well, that's... This morning, before I came to the dining hall, I noticed dust from the card reader on the floor. Yo, this music, this song is fire! This soundtrack is heat, bro. Huh? This is literally Soichi's theme right now. You mean, in the library? Uh, okay. Yes. <clears throat> so when he said that, so when he said he needed to move, he was probably hinting at something. If that's the case, then... Suichi. Suichi, can I help you in any way? Uh, okay. Of course, Kaede. Oh my god! Louder than this, bro. It is a remix to Distrust too. That's so fire, bro. Why do all the detectives have this as their theme song? This would always play when Kyoko would hop on the screen. It's the detective song, bro. But we should go. We shouldn't be talking in the open like this. What's the matter? Yo, I fuck with Suichi, bro. So far, he's also one of my favorites. I'm messing with him. What's up with you guys? What are you whispering about? Uh. We're not whispering. We're just gonna check on something. Hmm. And that thing you want to check is a secret? Um. 
Sorry. All I can say is... Yeah. I haven't given up. I'll show you guys that we can escape from this place. You can count on it. I believe in you. I see. Well, if that's how it is, then I'll believe in you. Yeah. Thanks. It's not like I need to give up anyway. I've always believed that my wishes can come true if I just work hard enough. Do I really care about talking to this? Let's talk to Gonta. Hey! Gonta not know what you both gonna do. But if Gonta can help, please tell! Matter of fact, bro, come with us. Come with us. We need a bodyguard. Alright, you guys are all whack. I'm out of here. Man, keep that music playing, bro. That is freaking gas. I feel like mindset is the biggest power. The mindset is the biggest power to these killing games. If, you have a sh if you're strong-minded, you'll survive. It doesn't matter how weak you are. Look at Makoto. Hey. Like, those guys were not survivors, but they survived because of their mindset. All right, I'll explain everything. First, take a look at the card reader. As Sweetie said that, he moved the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. I peeked into the gap of the card reader. The dust is gone. I'm... That's right. I checked it right after nighttime. Started yesterday, and the dust was there. But this morning, it was gone. So that means someone entered this door during nighttime? Could it be? That got me thinking. This may sound far fetched, but. Perhaps Monokuma's revival is related to this door somehow. Huh? How so? If I remember correctly. <laughs> Yo, this music. Bro, they keep playing this music every time Suichi hop on the hop on the uh on the screen, bro. Remember what the Monoku Monocub said? This school has a machine somewhere that can make a whole lot of pops. Just activate that machine and you can have as many spare pops as you want. Hmm. Um, so there's a machine that can build spare Monokumas? Because... That would explain why we saw Monokuma alive and well in the morning. At nighttime, someone went through this, this door and activated the machine. And then there's what Monokuma just told us. A time limit is now a time limit is now in effect. If a murder does not occur by nighttime two days from now, then every student will forced to participate in this killing game will die. I knew it. The way he phrased it seemed pe peculiar. Why not just say everyone will die? I didn't hear what he said. What did he say? Did he say you all will die? He went out of his way to say to specify that students. Forced to participate. Okay. Um. Huh? But why? That's true. My deduction. My deduction is that one of us volunteered to participate and wasn't forced. That would mean that they would avoid execution without breaking any rules. Perhaps that's why Monokuma said it that way. Huh? And that person is the one in our group who's cooperating with Monokuma. That's. I don't know if Monokuma is that strict with the rules, but if he is trying to protect someone. That would imply that they're doing more than just cooperating with Monokuma. Huh? What? Because... I believe that if one of us can create spare Monokumas, they are the mastermind of this killing game. Um... So, the person who's responsible for all our suffering is one of us? Uh, okay. Soichi, my guy, bro. Of course, this is just what I've d deduced, but it is entirely possible. <clears throat> That's why I didn't want to talk about this in front of everyone. If we taught them now, they might all try to find the mastermind and be led to murder. I'm... <clears throat> That's why I can only tell you, Kaide. The mastermind, the one controlling Monokuma. I can't believe the person responsible for our suffering could be amongst among us. It's hard to accept, but if it is true, I can't forgive them. Hey. Dude, this song again? <laughs> so, what do you plan to do now, Suichi? We're gonna find this mastermind, right? I'm... I'm thinking of taking the risk, just before time expires. I believe the mastermind will come here just before time is up, and I can expose them. Huh? Wait, how do you know they'll come here right before time's up? That's... I'm extra extrapolating from something Monokuma told us earlier. <clears throat> Mauled to shreds by countless Monokumas from the rumored Monokuma machine so yeah they would have to go in there to make them hmm. to 
To produce a large number of Monokumas, the Mastermind would have to come here. They would have to get into the hidden room to activate the machine. I feel like I understand this logic here, but I feel like it's it's there's some holes. I don't think this is the actual area where they're created. I just hit the mic. I feel like there's probably a factory for that, but I feel like this is the area where he controls Monokuma. Or yeah. she. In all two the previous two games, it was a she. It was a girl who was like the master well, not the mastermind, but like the, the person who was in on it. In this game, I'm not gonna say who I think it is, but of course none of this is certain. There's a chance the mastermind won't show him. Like I said, it's a risk. But but I'm willing to take it. It's better than just sitting around waiting to die. I see. Yeah. All right. I'll take that risk with you. But ah, but Kaidi, this is just my deduction. It's possible that I'm wrong. Of course. Yeah, I know, but I've made up my mind. You told me about this, so that must mean you trust me, right, Suichi? Yeah. Then I'll trust you too. You know? I mean, I don't have a good idea of, of my own, so obviously I'll help you with yours. Mm-hmm. Okay, then. Let's expose the mastermind together, Suichi. Thank you. Thank you, Kaede. You have a way of encouraging me. Mm. I never expected this to happen, though. I can't believe our enemy is within our group, hiding in plain sight. Uh, okay. Yeah. Aww. Now that we know this, I should stop saying everyone needs to work together. All right. But whoever the mastermind is, we'll expose them and help everyone else escape. God, I can't- Bro, what is she gonna be like when she sees a death? And when this is all behind us, we're gonna stay good friends. That's a promise, okay? Uh, okay. R right. After we reapplied the dust to the card reader, I left Suichi and returned to my room. We'll also talk to Suichi a little bit and stuff. Alright. It's nighttime. This is an official announcement for the Ultimate Academy. My kid has a little too much honey. Um... He's really happy about Daddy's return. Let's play darts. Mono Dam can be the dartboard. <laughs> and let's go bowling. Mono Dam can be the ball. Yeah. But by the by the way, which announcement were we making? The nighttime announcement. What? It's already that. What? It's already that late. Then we should go to bed soon. Bedtime sign. Ah. Right. Uh, yet yeah, it's already nighttime. This rate time limit will expire before we know it. I won't lose. I won't give up. Because I want to see everyone smile just a little longer. I want to spend time with them, laughing and talking like normal teenagers. So I won't give up. The mono I'll teach you guys how to win over a lady. First, you gotta give her a present. Ladies can't resist presents. <clears throat> But you can't give her any presents. It's gotta be a present suited to her taste. And and it's gotta be a handmade present too. So it looks like you put through it, put thought into it. For example, the kind of lady who's into strong men would love a handmade pro wrestling group. She'll love being surrounded by Mako dudes, so you'll make money off the wrestlers too. If enough wrestlers get popular, then it might be good to host a big event. And after they're done beating up each other, they can fight other pro wrestling groups. Just give it a shot, and I'm positive you'll win her heart. Whatever, bro. Ah, please! Please! Somebody! Do something! <clears throat> I'm getting worried. What if it's not- Is it Suichi? It's probably Suichi. Yeah, I don't see who else it could be. It's not gonna be Suichi, then. What the fuck? Who but as soon as I answered the door... It's me! Hmm, <laughs> it hurts my heart to be screamed at by a young girl. But it hurts so good all the same. What do you want? Ah, I figured I'd let I come let you know that some of the research labs are open. Huh? You mean the ultimate research labs? Those classrooms tailored to our 16 talents? Uh-huh. Your lab is finally all set up, so you can go in whenever you want. Now, go to the ultimate pianist lab right away and compose a murderous melody! A murderous melody? What are you even talking about? So, um, are you gonna invite me inside or for tea or what? No, of course not. I slammed the door in, Mon Damn, in Monokuma's face with all my might. That was super annoying. Jeez. How annoying! 
What? Please. Enough already! You're bothering me! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry! Should I come back later? Uh. Oh, Suichi, sorry. Just ignore what I said. Um. I wanted to talk to you too, Suichi. I was wondering if we needed anything for the plan. Uh, um. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I might know how to keep watch on the library. Huh? Weren't we planning on hiding inside the library and keeping watch from there? If we did that, we risk the mastermind running into us. It's safer to watch from further away. Hmm. We also need hard evidence to convince everyone of the mastermind's identity. That's why I thought it might be a good idea to set up cameras. Cameras? Okay. I found some cameras and security sensors in the warehouse. With some modification, we could combine the two. And have cameras that will detect movement and take pictures. <clears throat> if we set up a few in the library, we can capture proof of the mastermind. And we don't have to be in the library for this to work, so we are less likely to get caught. That's a really good idea, but you do know how to modify a camera? But do you know how to modify That's... cameras? Ah, well, I don't know how. That's why I wanted to ask Miyu. The ultimate inventor could help us. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's true. But... but she's pretty intimidating, so I'm having trouble talking to her by myself. That's right. Oh, in that case, we should ask her together. Uh, um... I saw Miyu head into the dining hall. I think she'll sit still be there. Is that all right? Ah, but we should be careful about what we tell her. She might be it. She might be it. Don't play stupid, Kaede. Come on. As in Miyu might be the mastermind? Hmm. I doubt it, but... Yeah. Well, if that's what you think... We need to talk. Miyu is sitting down, looking like her usual haughty self. Seems like she's alone. Hey. Morning, Miyu. Yeah. Well, if it isn't flat-chested Kaede, what do you and your pathetic tits want? <laughs> Bro! I'll just pretend I didn't hear that. Um, um I have a small favor to ask for you, of you, Miu. Right, Suichi? You're right. Yeah, actually, there's something we want to we want you to make. We found cameras and security sensors in the warehouse, and uh, do you think you could make cameras that detect movement and take pictures? As in, it would automatically take a picture in the motion sensor if the motion sensor detects something? Huh? The hell are you gonna use that for? Uh, um... uh to keep Monokuma under surveillance, we might learn important information. Yeah. Yeah, exactly that. Please, Miyu, we need your help to get everyone out of here. Oh, I see. Ah, okay. I get it now. Bitch. My answer is no. Huh? What? You know. You plebs got a lot of nerve asking me for a favor. <laughs> Were you grubs in a past life? Is that why you don't understand a basic human courtesy? Fuck all y'all. <laughs> God damn. I'll forgive you just this once. Now get out of here before I whip out the bug spray. Bro, is she, is, did she get the drug she was looking for in the first episode? Did she, is she on those right now? Without thinking, my body moved on its own. Oh God, what are you about to do? Don't play. What the? F Please, Mew. <laughs> what the? <laughs> okay. I thought she was about to slap the shit out of her, but she just got on her knees and started begging. I really want to get out of here with everyone. And to do that, I need your help. So, please, I'm begging you. Kaede. Shuichi? <laughs> Bro! Now this dude's begging too? I'm begging you too. Oh my god. Let me get on my knees and start begging too, bro. We could really use your help, Mew. Please? All praise be to Miyu. Give us divine strength and help us get out of here by making cameras. What the hell? Quit bowing to me. <laughs> no, I won't stop. Let me join you guys. Let me, with the power of three, all hail Miu. Please, make cameras. I'm gonna stay like this until you say you'll do it, Miu. Me I'll too. Do it for however long it takes. No, I won't. I'm lying. <laughs> uses bowing as a threat stop acting weird just do this shit F fine i'll do it okay thank you what <clears throat> really god damn bro is it that hard i grasped me use hand mm -hmm. thank you i owe you even after we escape i'll owe you forever and ever and ever what huh <laughs> bro you're setting up for her to be killer bro I'm not doing this for you guys. My research lab in the garden just opened up, so I I was already thinking about checking it out. Um, 
So, can I have my hand back now? Because this is starting to creep me out. Uh, oh, sorry. I was just so happy. <clears throat> but you, are your hands always this clammy? Uh, what did anyway, I do? anyway, bring me the security sensors and cameras before I change my mind. I'll be waiting in my research lab in the garden. <clears throat> God damn, bro. <sighs> we wobbled out of the dining hall as if she had been thrown off balance. Thank God, I'm glad we managed to convince her. Then, let's go to the warehouse to get the cameras and sensors right away. I'm just looking around, I guess. Uh, what if that's a murder weapon? Hmm. Kaidi, what are you doing? Uh, oh, Suichi, done already? Okay. Yeah, I've got the cameras. I think three should be enough. Huh? Disposable cameras? Will these work? Uh, That's um, all they had, but they work. It should be fine. There's also a photo developing solution here, so we don't have to worry about that. Hmm. Well, if you're fine with them... well, Yeah, three cameras should be okay. Also, here's a security sensor. When, when this sensor picks up movement, it triggers this receiver to make a sound. We should get three of, the, three of these as well. I see. As huge as this warehouse is, I didn't expect it to have security sensors in stock. Oh, do you want me, me to carry the cameras? I can put them in my backpack. I only have my music sheets and a spare vest, so there's still lots of room inside. Then... Alright, let's go talk to Miyu. As I took the three disposable cameras from Suichi, I suddenly stopped. <clears throat> she She's stressed out, bro. She is stressed out. Do these cameras really work? Even if we take pictures of the mastermind and persuade everyone, what will we do after that? The mastermind could just smirk and order the mantises to attack everyone. Can we really protect everyone with this plan? Will we really be able to escape this this place? Hmm. Kaede, is something wrong? We need to go before Mew changes her mind. Suichi was already at the door of the warehouse waiting for me. Uh. Sorry. I shoved the things I was holding into my backpack and ran after him. <sighs> right after I knocked, the door violently swung open. You're fucking late. How dare you waste precious seconds of my time? Oh, uh, looks like she's back to normal. Fuck all y'all. Well, don't keep my golden brain waiting. Give me what you give me what you got. Okay, it's just these, but <clears throat> I took out the cameras from my backpack and handed them to you. What was that? K disposable cameras? Hmm. Are disposable cameras too difficult to modify for you? Huh? Huh? Do you ask bird watchers if they know how to gawk at dumbass birds? Of course I can do it, piece of cake! Then... Ah, here are the security sensors. Oh, I see. So, uh, so you want me to use the sensors to make the cameras take pictures automatically, right? Uh, um... I was thinking the cameras could be triggered by the security sensor. As in, if the sensor detects movement, the receiver goes off and the shutter activates. That's how I'd like it, like it to work, if possible. After I heard that, I whispered into Suichi's ear. Um... What are you gonna use that for? That's... I'm going to set it up on the moving bookcase. That way we can keep watch from anywhere, as long as we have the receiver with us. If someone moves the bookcase, the receiver will let us know, right? And a camera connected to the sensor will take a picture of whoever moved the bookcase. Mm -hmm. I see. You mother <laughs> Why does it cut off there? Hey, what are you two whispering about? No. Nothing. Is that all right? I wrote down the de details here. Two cameras with built-in security sensors that will take photos automatically. A third camera that will trigger a sensor receiver as it automatically takes a photo? Sure! How soon do you need these? Uh, um... Could you make them by tomorrow morning? Shut up! Of course I can! You could tie me up and drip hot wax on me and I'd still finish in time. With that bold declaration, you slammed the door in our faces. Hmm. Did she just reveal some of her kinks to us? Then... <clears throat> Anyway, I think we will, I think this will do. I think this will do it. We just have to wait for me to finish. This is gonna be evidence for the class trial, I'm already knowing. Um, Kaede, what's wrong? No. Nothing. I was just thinking about how amazing you are for coming up with this plan, Suichi. Huh? What? You know? Honestly, when I first met you, I didn't think you would be that reliable. <laughs> but look at me now, relying on you like you're Sherlock Holmes or something. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Give me something good to eat. Sports towel. Ooh, okay. Ooh, give that to- Okay, I, I was gonna talk to, uh... Alright, 
I was gonna talk to Maki or uh, the other, uh, or Suichi, but now I'm definitely gonna talk to Little Buddy, bro, the, the tennis star. I'm gonna talk to the tennis dude because he's he's sports. <laughs> We're all just doing whatever we want. Is everyone really okay with getting annihilated like this? Yes, spend time with them. <laughs> This world is unfair. The whole damn place. Maybe we're already out of time. Okay. <laughs> I spent some time in a brooding atmosphere with Ryoma. Ryoma and I grew a little closer today. Yes. Give him the sports towel, bruh. He would love that shit. Where's the sports towel? There it is. Oh, you've got good taste. Yeah. I hope I can return the favor, but I'm not great at giving gifts. Oh, damn! He's trying to spit game, bro! You're like three feet tall, though, bro. I'm sorry. What's wrong? That's quite the sign. If you're tired, why not go back to your room instead of spending time with me? Sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm not actually tired. No. Yes, you are. I can tell. In a situation like this, I'd be more su it'd be more surprising if you weren't, anyway. Well, don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay. Aww. I feel as tired if there was at least one animal around here. <laughs> well, there are several bears. Jeez. They don't count. <laughs> hmm. Well, they certainly aren't the kind of animal that make you feel at ease. Yeah, that's right. Right. Aww. Jeez, I just want a soft, fluffy animal. I wonder if there are any around here. <laughs> hmm. I get that. Once you start petting one, you forget about all your worries. I see. <laughs> So you like animals too, Ryoma? Yeah. Well, I don't dislike them. You think so? You sure about that? You looked a lot more relaxed when I mentioned animals. What? What? <laughs> oh, did I get it right? <laughs> you tricked me. Well played. No. I only said what's true. Your soft spot for animals is written all over your face. So what kind of animals do you like, Ryoma? Yeah. Cats are the best. I used to have one. Huh? Really? You have a cat? No. You used to. When I went to prison, I had someone I know take care of it. Um... Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. I used to pet him after tennis practice. He was calm and smart. He'd know, he'd know when I was tired and come over to let me pet him. He had a nice fluffy coat. Watching him go wild over catnip calmed me down. Ryoma's expression is soft and he must really like cats. No, I don't say that. <clears throat> um, don't, don't mansplain, or don't, yeah, don't... Fluffy cats are the best. Mm. Fluffy cats are the best. Yeah. Yeah. Persians, Himalayans, ragdolls, Siberians. Wow. You know a lot of breeds. You must really like cats. <laughs> well, yeah. What? So he's got the cat ears, right? He's got he's got demon horns. But just don't get on don't just don't get one on a whim. Taking care of their fur is a real pain. <laughs> just think about you playing with a cat. It's pretty much the cutest thing ever. Jeez. Jeez, don't go judging people by their appearance. <clears throat> Ryoma's report card has been updated. Hell yeah. <laughs> I also like Ry Ryoma too, bro. It's probably once Ryoma I turn in my room. Alright, please, bro, please. This should be... There's no way someone doesn't die tonight, bro. It's the last night. <clears throat> this is an announcement. It is now 10 p.m. <laughs> Bro, how are you still out of it? I'm not reading all this, bro. Mana Kid seems really out of it. Is that what happens when you drink too much honey? This is filler. Last night time ever, huh? No, it won't be our last night time ever. Just our last night in this horrible place. Tomorrow night, I'm getting out of this place with everyone else. Yeah. We promised we would all be friends once we got out. Whatever, bro. Whatever. Come on, man. Come on. Ugh. The time limit was set to expire tonight, but weirdly enough, I was looking forward to it. Even then, I barely slept the whole night. I slapped my cheeks and leaped out of bed. All right. First, I need to go get go to Sweetie's room. We're gonna catch that mastermind together. Don't be dead, bro. Don't fucking be dead as soon as I get there. It's not Switch is not gonna be dead, bro. There's no way. Yo, Suichi! Suichi! Knock knock! Huh? 
Bro, I don't play, bro, I don't play. Come on. Don't play, bro. Sweetie, where you at? Ah, oh, thank God. Ah. Whew, Kaede, good morning. Jeez, finally you came out. You had me nervous for a second. Sorry. I was just going to the bathroom. Are you ready then? We have to get the cameras from me, remember? Okay. Yeah, right. <clears throat> ah! Whoa, my bad. Uh hi you guys! Hey, hey! You, have you decided how you want to spend your final moments? Maybe you want to pray to a tour with me! Oh, what? You shouldn't be giving up so easily! <laughs> true, true! But, you two but... get along so well. I was hoping it'd be it'd rub off on the others in the dining hall. Um, what are you talking about? Has to me. In such dire times, why won't they stop fighting? Huh? But fighting? Oh. Um, they're fighting in the dining hall. Tua is really bummed out about it. Fighting in the dining hall? Suichi. Suichi, can you go get the stuff from me? I have to see what's happening. Leave it to me. Okay, I'll get the cameras. Let's meet up later at the classroom by the stairs to the basement. Yeah. The classroom by the stairs to the basement. Okay, got it. Um, Angie, you said the dining hall, right? Do you mind coming with me? Mm -hmm. Okie dokie, we'll stop, we'll stop it together. Who's fighting though and why? Man, fuck a fight, bro. What about murder? God damn. I don't care about fighting, bro. Enough with the fighting. Let's, let's kill. This honest, this might be the longest Dingarapa has went without a kill. No lie. I feel like the other two games were much faster. Okay, I feel like Dingarapa 2 was pretty damn slow, but 1 was really fast. <clears throat> hey. What's going on here? Oh. Oh, Kaede. Perfect timing. I really don't know what to do, Kaede. We almost started talking crazy. <laughs> All I was doing was making a suggestion. So that more people can survive, even if it's just one more. Let me hear it. So that more people can survive? Ryoma, what do you mean by that? Don't you get it? Don't you get it? If time runs out like this, we all, we'll all get annihilated, you know. Only way to avoid that is to play along with this killing game. Huh? Wait, what? No, hold on a minute. Nah, I feel him, bro. Facts. This is facts. Huh? Kill you? Yo! Huh? Ryoma, what are you saying? Sheesh. You don't get that either? I'm saying that I'll give you guys my life. I... I don't have a reason to live anymore. Well... So if the rest of you want to live, I'll hand my life over to you. That's wrong! No way! We promised we'd all get out of here together. Kaida, it's not happening. <laughs> I hoped it'd end that way. That's why I waited so long to bring this up. But we've just been waiting for the deadline without doing anything to change it. In other words. There's no more time left for idealism, don't you think? No, it's not idealism. However, this is the best choice for the situation. Whoever murders me gets to leave without a trial. Everyone else survives the time limit. After that, the person who gets to escape can go for help and rescue everyone else. Come on, bro, we're not doing that. Well, how about it? If you've got a better idea, I'd love to hear it. My idea is just play along with the killing game tonight and, and just... Like, nobody... Nah, we're not, we're not t losing lives like that, bro. That's 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 cheap. Well... What should I do? Maybe if I share Suichi's play plane with him, Ryoma will change his mind. Hmm. Actually... Ryoma, there's no need for that. Hmm. Hmm? I'm going to end this game. What are you... What is going on? There's no need for that because I'm going to end this game. I've made my decision. I've already decided. Huh? You're going to end this game? What is going on? Hey. It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. However... Can you even accomplish such a feat? Oh, uh, yeah. I would be saying this if I didn't think I could. Ben. <clears throat> and how will you end it? You, don't under you understand that the time limit expires tonight, yes? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Can't tell you. Actually, if I could, I wouldn't be having so much trouble. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I'm going to end this game. Just what I said. I'm going to end this game. Dudes, what are you talking about? Dude. So, don't any of you go and do anything unnecessary, alright? Whoa, look at his face! Did you see his fa- Unnecessary? You've still got a ways <laughs> When you put to it like go. that, it seems like I still have a, a ways to go. Got it. Alright, I got it. I take back my suggestion. Do what you want. Whether you guys live or die is up to you. 
After Ryoma said that, he left the dining hall. That's a shame. Jeez, that Ryoma. I hope I helped him calm down a little. Um. Anyway, Rentaro, were you serious when you said you knew a way to end this game? Yeah. I'm not sure. Huh? What? How should I put this? Well, even if I did have an idea, I couldn't tell you. Can't risk anyone interfering. Prayer time. Okie dokie, then Angie will pray for your strategy's success, Rantaro. Punished. But if you're lying, Atua says he will punish you for three generations to come, okay? <laughs> <laughs> now that's a threat. Well, I'll do my best to live up to your expectations, hmm? Actually. I guess I have to do my best. He's going to try and get someone killed without him being the one to kill. He's going to try and get, be the reason someone dies. Antara left, but what he said really affected me. But... I think this game, is that even possible? I suspect he only said that to defuse the situation and stop Ryoma. I mean, ending this game? <laughs> you don't know that! Maybe Rantaro's hidden talent is actually a huge explosion! In the end, only Atua knows. Rantaro's hidden talent. I want to know what it is, but we don't have much time left. I can't worry about that now. I need to do something. I don't have time to worry about things I don't understand. I just need to do what I can. Or else, I won't be able to protect everyone. I should go meet up with Suichi. It's the classroom by the stairs to the basement, right? Sorry I'm late, Suichi. No. No, that's alright. I just got here too. How did it go? Did Miu finish the cameras? That's... She must have been working all night. She wasn't even too tired to make fun of me. Anyway, here's the result. Two cameras that will take a picture when the sensor detects movement. Remember. And this one will take a picture and trigger this receiver. Of course, they're turned off right now, so they aren't taking any pictures. Since they're disposable cameras, we'll have to manually wind the film, right? No. Yes. You thought of that. She told me that the cameras will wind automatically. I see. So once they're set up, they'll take pictures every time the sensor is triggered? Okay. She also modified them so that they'll be completely silent, not to attract attention. I see. They're completely silent? This is perfect. Well. It needs to be. These are absolutely essential to our plan. Uh. And, and do these cameras have flashes? That's... Yeah, they'll still flash. They still have flashes on them, but I switched them off. They shouldn't be a problem. But... But we need to make sure they don't get turned on by accident and alert the mastermind. That's right. Yeah, I'll be careful. Mm-hmm. I'm impressed, though. Me modified them to our specifications. Then... All right, I'll tell you a little bit about this classroom before we set up in the, in the library. Huh? Huh? Tell me about this classroom. Is that all right? Yeah, uh, the, the monitor. Keep, keep watch. Yeah. That's fine, but why this classroom? That's mm. true. Because we can see anyone who goes down to the basement with the door open a little. Oh, uh, okay. Look, you can look. see the staircase, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. We can keep a lookout for anyone who goes down to the basement. Hey. There's one more reason I chose this specific classroom. One more reason? <laughs> Say it, bro. Come on. Hey, it's because of something. Something that's only here. This doesn't seem like the other reason. <laughs> Bro, what's the reason? <clears throat> this doesn't seem like the other- What the fuck is the reason, bro? Ah, I see. Ah, there we go, the air vent, okay. Is this a vent? That's... It's connected to the library in the basement. You'll recognize the smell immediately. Hmm. The smell? After Suichi told me that, I leaned in closer to the vent. Uh. <laughs> oh, it smells like musty old books. Does this lead to the library? Well... It's probably a vent to control the humidity in the library. Remember. Yeah. Remember the duct tape we noticed on the basement hallway? It leads there. The duct... Uh, duct. But a vent in a classroom? That's an odd design for choice for a school. Then again, everything about this school is odd. Uh, um, this vent is, is the other reason I chose this specific classroom to keep watch. This vent is just big enough for someone to be able to fit, so we sh should watch ca this carefully too. Hmm. I don't think I could fit through there. Well, maybe I could, but it'd be tough. Yeah. Well, I guess it's the perfect spot to keep a lookout. Then... Anyway, it's time. We should set up the cameras now. It's finally time to set our plane in motion. I'm getting nervous. My heart is racing. Low-key, bro, so is mine. So where do you want to place the cameras? You're right. 
It seemed the one linked to the receiver at the morning at the moving bookcase. If we place a security sensor on the bookcase itself, then when it opens, the receiver will let us know. And if we place the camera to face the moving bookcase, okay. Yes, the camera should capture the exact moment the mastermind moves the bookcases. M bookcase. Then where are we putting the other two sensors? Remember. Well, there are two entrances to the library. The front entrance near the stairs and the rear entrance to the hallway. Let's aim one at each entrance. That way we'll have, to, we'll have pictures of everyone who enters the library. Huh? But how about over there? The vent? Yeah. Um. Can you say a person could fit through the vent that connects to the classroom? Hey. Wait, shouldn't we make sure a person could actually fit through it? Well, we can eliminate who it could be because not everybody could fit in there. That's... I think it'll be fine. Since we'll be keeping watch in the classroom, we, but we should investigate it a little more, just in case. But we can't reach that high. We need something to stand on. Uh, I don't know, maybe this big old freaking ladder? Come on, bro. Oh, I can probably use this ladder. Position the ladder below the vent and climbed up. Here, this is pretty high. It's kind of scary. Yo, this music, bro. This song. Do you want to switch? Ladderness. Do you want to switch? Hold up, Suichi. What you looking at, my guy? Nah, I'm fine. Suichi's. You know Suichi taking a peek, bro. She's wearing a skirt. By the way, can you see my um delicates? You know damn well you can, bro. Uh, sorry. Don't be. <laughs> You know you were doing that on purpose, bro. Alright, let's get let's get back to work. Whatever, he can't, he can't unsee them. Anyway, this is a vent. There's a great covering the vent, so I don't think anyone can go through. Can I take the grate off? There we go. Oh, the grate came off pretty easily. Did you break something, Kaede? Um, no. I didn't break it. I saw the look on his face. He probably thinks I'm a klutz. I pushed the grate into the duct. Then I lifted my body and looked inside. So how's it look? Could a person fit in there? <clears throat> hmm, it would be pretty difficult, but you might be able to crawl through. I can't really get to the vent with all these books in the way, though. Well, we'll be able to see the entrance to the vent in the classroom. So that should be okay, right? Just in case, I'll stack more books around the vent so no one can get through. I begin to arrange the books around the vent. This duo is kind of fire right now. Hold up, this is like Makoto and, and Ki Kyoko all over again. This is like Makoto and Kyoko all over again, bro. This is really like Makoto and Kyoko all over again. Suichi is Kyoko and, and Kaede is like Makoto. After I finished stacking the books, I climbed down the ladder. Are you okay? Kaida, what's wrong? She's just nervous, yeah. bro. This will work. This will definitely work. Huh? Huh? Got it? I think this plane might actually protect everyone. Yeah, it definitely will. This plane is perfect, composed like Chopin's ballads. You know? I actually really like complicated contraptions, like Rube Goldberg machines and stuff. So I'm positive this will work. This setup is perfect. Uh, um, you really think so? Of course. Of course. We'll definitely catch the mastermind and then we'll all escape. Oh, right. So let's hurry and set up the cameras. Then? Yes. So I think it would be a good idea to set up the cameras between looks, between books so that... Uh, so it's more silent. Oh, hold on. I had an idea while I was on top of the bookcase. What if we place a camera up there? I'm sure the mastermind wouldn't notice it. But... No, yeah. I don't know if there's room for the camera. Yeah, we need to put it in between. You know? Then I'll test it out while you prepare the sensor on the bookcase. I'll organize the books on top of the bookcase and see if I can make room for a camera. Right? That way we won't waste any time, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Oh, right! Alright, then let's do it! <clears throat> I climbed up the ladder and looked at the top of the bookcase. Hmm. Hmm. There are way more books here than I expected. Books, it might be too hard to set up a camera here. I knew it. Mm. I thought so. No. Wait, I just gotta try a little harder. Hey! Kaide, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really, it's alright. I continued moving the ladder as I kept reorganizing the books. Yeah. Jeez, these books are so heavy. What is this, an encyclopedia? I flipped open the book. Wait! Uh, Kaide, is this really the time to be reading a book? Uh. 
Sorry, I get distracted easily when I'm organizing things. After I made that excuse, I rushed to or reorganize the heavy books, but... Um, looks like there are too many books after all. You can't really make space, can you? It'd be easier if I could move them to the ground. That would look suspicious. But that would look suspicious. You're right. Yeah, we have to minimize any risk of the mastermind noticing the cameras. And I guess it'd be better to put the camera between the books, like you suggested. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you look oddly happy. Uh, um... No, I don't. Uh, if we put them on top of the bookcase, the angle wouldn't quite reach. Aww. Yeah, and here I thought it'd be a good idea. Is that alright? So about the places to put the cameras. I need to place a security sensor on top of the moving bookcase. And the camera linked to it will be set up right here. That way it will capture a moment Mastermind moves the bookcase. We're gonna place the other two cameras near the exit and entrance, right? I suppose so. I think here in this bookcase is good. Okay. They would have to pass by here no matter which door they use. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I'll set up the camera that's connected to the security sensor. I'll set it carefully so the camera has a clear shot, shot when the mastermind moves the bookcase. Yeah. Let me take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase. And we'll set the cameras near each door. Hey. I almost forgot. I brought duct tape from the warehouse. You can use this. Yeah. Thanks. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I've been filming for probably three hours. With that, we got to work. <clears throat> I meticulously placed the cameras in the gra in the gaps of the bookshelves. We need to set up the camera carefully so that it's aimed at the moving bookcase. Better use a lot of duct tape so the camera won't fall out of position. These cameras are important, so I gotta do it right. Shit, bro. I've been filming for three hours. Yeah. All right, that should do it. Okay. And talking for three hours as well, keep in mind. I'm finished too. Hmm. Now, no matter which entrance they use, the mastermind will be caught on camera. And if they move the bookcase in front of the hidden door, our sensor will detect that and signal this receiver. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, the camera attached to the sensor will snap the critical picture. Whew. Please. Yeah, this should do it. No doubt about it. This plane will probably work. No, not just probably. It definitely work. It'll definitely then... work. All right, then the final step: turn the sensors on. I see. All right, we shouldn't. We should turn them on before we leave. All right. There's a 10 second delay as it starts up, so we have to leave quick. Yeah. Got it. It'd be a waste of film if I if it took our pictures. After setting our trap and powering on the cameras attached to the sensor, we quickly exited the library. Finally, Jesus. This is a slow one. <laughs> this is a slow one, bro. This V3 is a slow one, let me tell you. Oh, shit. How'd the atmosphere change? Oh, it's night. Well, it's like evening. <clears throat> Upon entering the classroom, a wave of anxiety suddenly overwhelmed me. My heart felt like it would beat out of my chest at any moment. <sighs> then, let's keep the door open a little so we can see anyone going to the basement. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, um... Kaede, about the security sensor receiver. Hey! Could you hold on to it, please? I just feel like you'd be better suited for that than me. Uh, there's a power switch on it. Make sure you don't turn it off by accident. No. No, you hold on to it, Suichi. You're the one who came up with this plan, and I trust you. Um. Also, Suichi, you just said I'm better than you at something. Why did you say? Why do you say things like that anyway? Huh? What? You know? I guess it's good that we have some time left because I wanted to talk to you about that. Uh, <clears throat> talk to me. <clears throat> So talk to her, Goofy. Why are you making me click on him? Come on. You know? It's probably none of my business, but I think you, sh you should be more confident. Right? Especially since the Ultimate Initiative selected you as the Ultimate Detective? No. No, really. I shouldn't be the Ultimate Detective. I'm not even a real detective. Huh? What do you mean? I'm... I didn't even really want to be a detective. My uncle runs a detective business. I would sometimes help out as an apprentice. It was usually just cheating couples, background checks. But, but one day I came across a murder case, completely by chance. Uh, I solved um, it before the police did. They called me the boy detective. That's when I got scouted by the ultimate initiative, though I only solved one case. Huh? Even so, it's still amazing that you solved the murder case. Most people can't do that. No. I wonder. I wonder if... Uh, it was a really good thing I solved that case. The look on his face when we caught him, I can still see it even now. He stared at me, like he hated me more than anything else in the world. Later I heard that he 
murder the victim to get revenge for his family. The victim was abusive. They drove the culprit's relative to suicide. People told me the culprit was right to do what he did. The victim deserved it. But I led the police right to him. Of course he hated me. So he feels bad for what he did. Feels bad for being a detective. He, he ain't no snitch. That's not true. It's not like you took sides. You uncovered the truth. That's what detectives do, right? You're right. Yeah, I uncovered the truth, which makes it my fault, and I'm still suffering the consequences. I'm. Ever since that one stupid case, I've been so afraid of uncovering the truth. I'll never forget those eyes, the hatred, the way they stared into me. Uh, um. Anyway, that's why I have trouble looking people in the eyes sometimes. So that's why he wears that hat. I'm. I'm not a real detective, Kaede. What kind of stupid detective is afraid of finding the truth? Right then, I know. Right then, I noticed Sweetie's hands were trembling. I gently reached out and he held and held his hand. Kaede. Kaede. We haven't smashed yet. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. <clears throat> oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. Claire de Lune, you guys do not have rights to that, bro. Stop playing. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. I think Claire de Lune is a depressing song, bro. You noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. This is not gonna end well, bro. This is not gonna end well. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. Damn. Suichi, you're- oh man, bro. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. This is- this sucks, bro. This sucks. That he- man, this sucks. You give me the courage I need to take on the mastermind. This sucks. So please, be more confident. She got some- I believe in bro. you. Bro. So you should definitely believe in yourself. Okay, I'll try. He looked at her in the eyes, bro. He, he lifted his head up. I'll try. Yep, that's a promise. Damn, bro. Fuck. After letting go of his hand, I quickly changed the subject. Yeah, that's right. So I, I think you would look way cooler if you didn't wear that hat. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? What? I'm serious here. Once we're out of here, I want you to show me what you look like without the hat, okay? Aww. Jeez, I just want to see everyone smile. You know? I love seeing the expression people make when they're enjoying themselves. That's why I play piano, to see the smile on everyone's faces. Mm -hmm. And that's why we need to expose the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. Right? So we can smile with everyone else. Please don't be the first death, bruh. After a serious talk, we talked about this and that to kill some time. We, we did all we could and prepared for whatever happened next. I was nervous, of course, but we all could do all, all we could do was wait for the moment to arrive. At this time, at this at the as the time limit drew closer and closer, and then suddenly the moment arrived. Come on, 10 p.m. Hanging, drowning, bludgeoning. What is this weird music? It's coming from the monitor. Could it be? Maybe it's a warning that we need to start killing. The time limit is almost up. Oh, they need to stop screwing with us. How much suffering do they want from us? Oh. Wait, Kaide. You see something? I hear people talking in the hallway. Huh? Huh? People talking? I focused my attention on the hallway. I could hear a group of boys and girls talking. I tried my best to listen while I peered through the gap of the classroom door. I saw seven boys and girls head down the stairs. Such a random group of people, by the way. Seven continue to walk down the stairs. Why? What's a big group like that planning to do? And Tower was with them too. Didn't he say he would end this game? Mm. It's almost nighttime, right? If they're all heading to the basement right now, they're gonna trigger that shit. Could the mastermind be with them too? One of them is the mastermind? I have my thoughts, but no. I'm not saying them. It is unusual for such a big group to all go to the basement. No. They're not planning on going to the library. Are they? That would be bad. That's what I'm saying. They'll, that's what I'm saying, bro. Huh? 
What? All right. I'm go I'm going to check out the basement. Uh, I'll come with you. No. No, you stay and keep watch, Kaede. With that, Suichi dashed out of the classroom. Um, Why am I all alone now? This is not the time to be alone, bro. Now is people are most bloodlusted right now. People are want to kill the most right now. Realizing I was alone, all the fear and anxiety I was trying to hide rushed back into me. Jeez. Uh, now is not the time to be alone. Use a broom as a, as a self-defense. What are you cleaning for? Oh my, you. Please come back already. Why are you brushing? Suichi, talk to me. Hmm. Heidi, why are you sweeping? Huh? Uh, no reason. <clears throat> anyway, what about the people down in the basement? Uh, Everything okay. was okay. They all went to the game room. The game room? Why there? Ding dong dong ding! In one hour, everyone dies. What do they just want to play some games before they go out? Respect. <laughs> There's only one hour until the time limit. Yeah, it's almost time. That's true. I'm sure that the mastermind will make their move soon. If Monokuma is going to show up when time runs out, the mastermind will go to the library. Then it happens sudden. Then, then it happens so suddenly. Oh. My heart nearly leapt out of my chest as the relief as the receiver in Suichi's hand suddenly went off. Uh. Switch to the receiver. That's it. Someone move the bookcase. Hurry, Kaede. Suichi sprinted out of the classroom with the deter determination of a true ultimate detective. Wait for me! Get the freak out of here! I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Suichi. I could feel my heart beating faster and faster. I was so nervous my head felt like it was pounding with every heartbeat. It's it's gonna be a disappointment. It's just gonna be like... I don't know. It's gonna be some random ass motherfucker that has nothing to do with this. All right. Kaede, let's go inside. Or is there gonna be a dead body? Bracing myself to confront the mastermind, I had balled my hands into fists without realizing it. It'll be fine. Everything will work out. Huh? What are you? Wh huh? What are you guys doing here? Got it. Well, never mind. Your timing's perfect. You should join our strategy meeting. Right. Kaida is definitely welcome to join. Huh? Strategy meeting. Yeah. When the time limit hits, we're gonna fight Monokuma. We got a plan for that battle. We thought it'd be harder for Monokuma to get to the basement, so we're going to the game. Hold on. Both of you, come with us. The mastermind is in the library. No, you. Uh, huh? Mastermind? Okay. We'll explain later, but right now, we need you to come with us. We might really be able to end this killing game. Are you serious? Are you serious? Sneak attack. I don't really understand, but you just need me to Aikido. But you just need me to Aikido throw whoever's inside, right? All right. No, I'll do it. I'll be the one to take them down. Uh, this isn't a competition. I'm going to open the door, right? Okay. The unveiling of the mastermind so close at hand, all my anxiety had disappeared. I stepped inside the library. The door's closed. The motherfucker's in there. He's in there. Where is the mastermind? Bro, he's in there. We quickly walked over the, toward the moving bookcase. And then not too far from the moving bookcase, we saw... He did say he. Rantaro Mami, who had yet to reveal his ultimate talent to the rest of us, lay dead on the ground. That was unexpected. I was not expecting him to. What? I was not expecting him to die. He said he. Rantaro? He said he would be the one to end it, but I didn't... <sighs> what? What in the world? What the hell is going on? Uh, uh, uh! <laughs> right after Tanko screamed, the front door of the library burst open, and the four people who were in the game room rushed in. He said- What happened? He said he was gonna end the game. Did he kill himself? What is going on? 
Did he kill himself knowing the sensors were there and they wanted them they wanted him them to see him immediately? What happened? Go to hear scream. Huh? Ah! Ah! Blood! So much blood! Nah. Oh me, oh my! Huh? Isn't that Rantaro? What's wrong with him? You don't know? He's dead. Huh? What? He's dead? Well that's unfortunate. But how? How can you be so calm? Suichi examined Rontaro's body and placed his hand close to the mouth to check for breathing. It's no use. We're too late. He shook his head. It's no it's way. Too late? You mean dead? Are you serious? He's dead? My vision began to swirl. My legs wobbled beneath me. But out of sheer desperation, I kept my mind working. Why was Rantaro here? And? Monokuma. Bam, bum. The monitor is off. I was no longer just it was no longer displaying Monokuma anymore. Does that mean the mastermind is dead? Yeah, that has to be it. This means Rantaro was No, you're stupid. You're dumb. Well This means a killing game has started, huh? Huh? What? what? Killing game? Then somebody someone killed Rantaro and uh. wait, maybe not. What do you mean, maybe not? Um, maybe the killing game hasn't started. Maybe this just ended it. What? Ended it? What do you mean? Because... The mastermind. Rentaro was the mastermind. Huh? What? The mastermind. Uh, um... I don't know how he died, but if Rentaro was in the library before the time limit ended... That's true. There's a high chance that the mastermind planned this, and if he's dead... Huh? What? A body has been discovered. Everyone, please gather in the library. Oh, what a relief! A murder took place just before time ran out. Huh? Monokuma, but how? I'm running out of time. I gotta admit, I was a little nervous there because the killing game hadn't started yet. Jeez, you guys really know how to keep me in suspense. How? The mastermind controlling you is... Huh? Hmm? By mastermind, do you mean the real mastermind who's controlling me? And you think it was Rantaro? Ow. Ah, what an imagination! Of course that's wrong! The victim was Rantaro Mommy, the ultimate who cares, nothing more, nothing less. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh. Suichi, what does he mean? What's going to happen? No. He Monokuma is wrong, isn't he? Isn't Rantaro the mastermind? Huh? Yeah, we came here as soon as the sensor went off, right? No one else was in the library. Rantaro was the only one who could have moved the bookcase. Wouldn't that mean he was trying to use that hidden door and, and that he was the mastermind? No. But if he was the mastermind, why is the killing game not over? Uh, why? Um, why is he dead? It's no use. It's no good. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Suichi. Oh. Ah, the pictures. We can check the pictures. I'm sure that the cameras we set up in the library will give us a clue. At that moment, the library door swung wide open. The rest of the squad. Ah! Oh no! Rantaro, but why? Really? Kyu, that's, that's Rantaro? Oh, thank god. I thought that was a pile of dirty rags. I see. I see. So this ended up happening after all. Bro, you are suspect, bro. My, my, what a world this is, so full of jokes like this. How? What? This is a lie, right? My dearest Rantaro is di- Oh, I mean... <laughs> was killed? Stop it. That's the same thing. <laughs> How ironic. The guy who wanted to live ended up dead, and the guy who wanted to die survived. Either way. So, can somebody explain the meaning of all this? Nah, an explanation isn't necessary. Thanks to the first blood perk, there won't be a class trial, so that'd just be a waste of time. I forgot about this. Go ahead. What? Nah, they wouldn't Degenerate be male. Wait! How you know boy do it? I won't forgive you! I just know, okay? Violent crimes are almost always committed by violent, disgusting men. Damn. 
Ouch. That dumbass. How dare he go and get himself killed? Who the hell did it? I'll friggin' punch you into orbit. It was him. He killed himself. <laughs> Don't get so angry. Send off your graduating classmate with warm farewells. I want to say he killed himself. It's getting interesting. All right, send him off with hostility like a bunch of catty popular girls. That's fine, too. It's my time to But if it's going to disrupt the process, then we're going to bust out the mantises. Oh, I'm not going to look. I don't want to look at a nasty dead body. <laughs> Nothing beats crashing at a funeral. It's way better than wedding crashing. I throw in a wedding every now and then, but funerals are insane, like fishing with dynamite. So... So whoever did this really gets to graduate, huh? Yeah. Heck yeah, I'm a real stickler for the rules. I'm also a tough on convenience store clerks. My heart's racing. And congratulations, the blacken who is about to graduate, please raise their hand. He killed himself. What? Uh, no one's raising their hand? You bastard! Hey, did you hear me? All the blacken has to do to graduate is speak up, you know? Either that or the person who killed him just don't want to speak up, and I don't blame him. No one's stepping forward? What's going on? Hmm, I see how it is. The Blacken has no need for the first blood perk. They would rather do a class trial. Okay. Uh, I excuse me? Why, why are you getting all, uh... Oh. Very well, then. Psycho pop! I will give the Blacken what they want and hold the class trial. Oh. Wow. It's getting interesting. Now this is a spicy twist. Hold on. Wait, what the heck's going on? Kaido, I'm already suspect. Got it. Like we said before, the, the, we're going to hold the class trial so you bastards can find Rentaro's killer. So. Get it right and the only black one will be punished, but if you get it wrong... <laughs> Simultaneous surgery, brain and knee, then brain surgery again. My heart's racing. Everyone besides the black one will be punished. Everyone besides the blackened? Everyone? This outcome is much worse. The culprit sh This outcome is much worse. The culprit should have just stepped forward. Thrills but before we can hold a class trial, you gotta investigate first. If you don't investigate the murder, you won't be able to argue over who did it. Jeez. So you're saying we need to do the investigation on our ourselves, too? Of course. The investigation, what is the, the investigation is what makes the killing game so good. You guys are gonna investigate this crime and uncover the truth. The Blacken's handiwork has made this much more entertaining than I expected. Alright, the trial will begin soon, so please, give the investigation your all. I'm sorry, I have to end this here, bro, because I'm running out of camera space. I've been filming for like four hours today. To be honest, I might have gotten three episodes out of today's filming session. That being said, oh my god, I've been reading, yelling for four hours straight here. This is wild. Um, we finally got to the first death. It took way longer than I expected to. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little slow. Right now, my prime suspects are obviously the people who are walking downstairs. Um, I don't think... I, I'm gonna look back at the photo, but whoever was walking downstairs so far, those people uh, are prime suspects right now. Um, as well as possibly suicide. If you guys liked the video, hit that like button. If you disliked the video, hit that dislike button. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content. I post pretty much every single day. We're gonna continue being a Rampa and God of War today. Unfortunately, I couldn't get to God of War today because I simply had no time. Uh, I gotta cut this film off because I it's... Way too long now at this point. Jesus. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, folks, capture moments, create memories. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.